Spring has sprung and I'm so in the mood to make a lightweight menswear inspired dress. I found this inspiration dress online and love, love, love everything about it. The button down front, the rolled up sleeves, the tiered skirt, and the loose flowy fit were right up my alley. And I almost bought it for myself until I saw the price. I knew I could knock off this dress for less than $10 with some thrift store finds. I hit the thrift store on a sale day and bought three men's button-down shirts in a similar blue. So in today's video, I'll show you how to upcycle these three shirts into a lightweight dress that is perfect for spring. Let's get sewing. This blue shirt I'll use for the top of the dress actually fits me quite well, so I simply gave it a chop at my belly button. To make the skirt from the other two shirts, we'll make two long rectangles based on the waist of the first shirt. The first panel will be one and a half times the waist and 10 inches high. The second panel will be 2.25 times the waist and 10 inches high. With the second shirt, I cut out a 10 inch strip from the bottom of the shirt. I cut out another 10 inch strip but had to cut around the armholes. Then I cut out the button placket. My cuts turned out a little wonky, so I cleaned up the edges with my rotary cutter. Sew or serge your rectangles into one long strip. I noticed this shirt was very sheer. You can see the machine and my hand through the fabric. This ruffle is going to lay over my hips, which means you can possibly see my underwear through the dress. Luckily, I had an extra blue shirt in my stash that wasn't transparent. Once you've pieced your rectangles into your desired length, sew the edges closed to make a big tube. Press the seams flat. Now we'll mark the ruffle into quarters, which will help us align the ruffle to the shirt and the bottom ruffle. Mark the upper and bottom corners. Fold the fabric in half and mark the fabric on the corner folds. Set your machine to the longest stitch to sew two rows of gathering stitches. Sew one row a quarter inch from the top edge, and the second row half an inch from the edge. Leave two long tail threads. Pull on the top two tail threads to gather the fabric. You'll slide and mush the fabric along the thread until it's the same length as the top. Sewing two rows of gathering stitches make the gathering easier and look even. Repeat with the second ruffle. Before I gathered the ruffle, I hemmed the bottom by turning it a quarter inch twice and stitching it down. Mark the bottom of the shirt into quarters. With right sides together, pin the top of the ruffle to the bottom of the shirt, matching the quarter marks. Sew 3 8 inch from the edge. Your sewing line should fall in between your gathering stitches. Pull and straighten the ruffle as you sew. You want to make sure your gathers are perpendicular to your seam. Remove both gathering stitches. It should be a quick task given the long stitch length. I cleaned up the seam by running it through my serger. If you don't have a serger, you can use the zigzag stitch on your sewing machine. Pin and sew the second ruffle, matching the quarter marks. And here's the finished dress. I'm loving the feminine take on classic menswear shirting, and it's not that far off from the inspiration piece. This upcycled dress is perfect for beginners because it's all straight line sewing. In fact, I spent more time filming and editing this video than sewing this dress. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. See you next time.